Hey everybody. So this is just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to install R and RStudio on Mac OS. So what I'm gonna do is just jump over into the desktop here and we'll start going on this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our browser and here I'm using Safari and we're just gonna search for the letter R. So literally R. So I do a quick Google search of that and you see the first thing that comes up is the R project for statistical computing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that link there and brings us to this page that's a little bit difficult to figure out what we need here. But what you see at the very top here is under getting started, it says to download R and that is a link. So we wanna click on that. We need to download R. So. That brings us to a second page where it's not really clear again what we need to do, but this is showing us just a bunch of different options of where we can download it from. And the easiest one to do is just to pick the one at the top, which is an automatic picker. So we just pick this cloud.rproject.org and we're gonna select that. Finally, we see that we get to this download page and to download and install R, we've got three options here for Linux, for Mac OS or for Windows. And for us, because we're on Mac OS, we're gonna pick the Mac OS option. So once we get to this page, what we see is we've got two different options to download the latest version. The latest version is 4.4.2, that's of as of December, 2024. Now, if you're running a, a recent Mac, an M1 or an M2 or even M3 Mac, you're going to want to use this top link, this R4.4.2 ARM64 for Apple Silicon. For older Intel Macs, you're going to you want to use this other link. Now, the way you can tell is by going up to your Apple icon in the top corner right up here and clicking on About This Mac. And under processor, it should tell you what type of processor yours is. Mine is showing that it's an older Intel Mac and that's what I'm going to use. But most people will want to use the other Apple Silicon one. Regardless, the process from here is basically exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. It may ask you whether you not you want to allow downloads from R and you want to say, yes, please allow downloads. And what will happen is the download will appear into your downloads uh, folder. You can access that either through um, Finder down here or directly on this downloads link in the bottom corner. So if I click on that, we can see I can open it in Finder or I can just click on the package file, the PKG. So if I click on that, it starts up this installer. Now I'm just gonna close up Safari in the background here. Now the installer, I'm just going to pick all of the default options as we go through. So it says it'll guide us through the steps necessary to install R on Mac OS. So I'm gonna hit continue, and then it says important information, that's okay, I'm going to continue. It asks me to accept the license agreement. I'm going to hit continue, I agree to the license, and then I'm going to hit install. Now it'll ask me, for an administrator password, my password for the system. So I need to put that in and click on install software. Now it says it would like to access the files in your downloads folder. And I'm going to say, yes, you're allowed to do that and allow it to install that. Now, once it has finished installing, I'm going to see that it's successful here and I can close the installer and then I can move that to trash. I don't need that any longer. Now, if we go down into Launchpad, we're going to find out that R is now here and it's one of the options that I have for running a program. It looks like this giant R with a circle around it. Now, if I click on that, what we see is it opens up and it's really just this console with a flashing cursor. So we're going to download another program that's going to make a more comprehensive environment for us to be able to work in R. So it's not just us having to work with this one cursor. So not save anything. And we're going to go back into Safari. And now what we're going to do is search for RStudio. All right. 
So if I do search for RStudio, again, the first link that comes up is one to this posit and it's RStudio desktop. If I click on that, it will take me to RStudio desktop. I scroll down a little ways and it says there's two steps for installing this. First, install R. We've already done that. Good. So we don't have to do that. Secondly, we want to install RStudio. So I need to click on this big button to download. It'll probably ask you again, do you want to allow downloads from Posit? You're going to say, yes, that's fine. And once you do that, it will download the file to your downloads folder. Now, it's going to take a few minutes because it's pretty big. So once that's done, we'll come back and finish the installation of our studio. All right, now that it is finished downloading, we can see that it's down here in our downloads again. You could access that through the finder if you like, but I'm just going to click on it in the downloads. And we see I can click on our studio, click on that file. Now I'm going to close up Safari. So we can see that it opens up this DMG file, which is a disk image. And what it does is it gives you a link to your applications folder and the RStudio program. And what you really need to do here is all you need to do is drag RStudio and drop it onto applications. And what that will do is it'll copy it over into the applications folder for you. So now that's copied over, you can close this. So once it's installed, we don't need this link anymore. So we can eject the RStudio. And in fact, the one in our downloads folder, we can move that to trash if we want. So we could take that and drop it in the trash. We no longer need the installer. It's installed. So we can see that our studio is in our applications folder, or I can access it through Launchpad as well. We see our studio. If I launch that, we'll see that what it does is it brings up a more comprehensive environment for us to run R in. It is just doing quick verification and it says it's been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open this? And we're going to say, yes, we know that it's safe. You can go ahead and open it. It's going to open up the R studio environment and on Mac, it might pop up with this notice that says the Git command requires command line developer tools. Would you like to install them? You probably don't need that if you're just um, a student doing some statistics or doing a little bit of statistics for a project. If you're going to be doing some real hardcore programming and need versioning control, you might want this. But otherwise, you can just hit cancel. Now, in the next tutorials, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little bit more about this interface that we just installed and how we start to use that to do some statistics using R and RStudio on a Mac.